American Geophysical Union v. Texaco, 60 F3D 913 2D CIR. 1995, was a U.S. copyright case holding that a private, for-profit corporate library could not rely on fair use in systematically making copies of articles for its employees. <laughs> case background Texaco is a for-profit corporation, that maintained an internal library and employed a number of scientists. Texaco subscribed to journals by the American Geophysical Union, a scholarly society that publishes a number of journals. Texaco also purchased a photocopy license from the Copyright Clearance Center CCC, an entity that licenses academic content to research organizations. Texaco, like many entities with institutional libraries, was in the practice of photocopying articles from its journals to send to employees. The AGU and five other publishers, eventually joined by several dozen other publishers, sued Texaco. Texaco defended, citing the Fair Use Doctrine, which holds that users found to be «fair» for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching including multiple copies for classroom use, scholarship, or research. Are not infringements of copyright. The court ultimately deemed Texaco's use to not be fair use, and Texaco was fined and agreed to retroactively purchase a license from the Copyright Clearance Center. The Second Circuit's fair use analysis weighed heavily the fourth factor, which considers the effect of the use upon the potential market for the copyrighted work. Because CCC made licenses available for the photocopying, the court held that Texaco's failure to use those licenses for all its photocopying deprived the rights holders of lost licensing revenue. This portion of the opinion has been criticized for its circularity of reasoning, since any use could in theory be licensed, any unlicensed use would weigh against fair use on the market harm factor, Judge Jacobs dissented. He pointed out the circularity of the publisher's argument. Since any license fee they would collect would result only if the use was not deemed fair, deeming the use unfair because of the lost licensing fee was bootstrapping. He also would have treated the scientists' use of photocopies in the laboratory as socially productive and therefore weighing in favor of fair use. 